Hey foodies, welcome to Cooking Shooking. This is your boy Yaman and you have already read the title. That's exciting, isn't it? Let's get started. The process is simple but we want to get a little in detail about it. For now, let's start. All you need is chickpeas or chole along with sugar to make whipped cream. Actually, we can't call it whipped cream but it is uh, a very good substitute for whipped cream that you can use for cupcake, cakes or whatever you want to use it for. Whips perfectly and is light, airy and fluffy. So it's perfect for using in cakes, cupcakes and many more things. For making the whipped cream or the whipped cream substitute, we will need to first make aquafaba. Aquafaba is nothing but uh, bean water or chickpeas water or any beans water that we get after cooking it. So aqua means water, faba means beans. So we're going to make it using chole or chickpeas. So let's start making aquafaba first. We are going to start by soaking 3 cups of chickpeas or chole as we call it here in India and I am going to pour in about 8 cups of water to this and let it soak for a minimum of 8 hours. After the chickpeas have been soaked, get rid of the water we soaked it in and add the chickpeas to a pressure cooker and we are going to pour in 4 cups of water to it. Close the cooker, heat up in medium high flame and cook till 8 whistles. After 8 whistles, we are going to lower the flame to medium and cook this for another 20 to 25 minutes and then we are going to switch off the flame. After that, we are going to let this cooker stay undisturbed for 2 hours minimum and 5 hours maximum. Open the cooker after 3 and a half hours and then you can check the chickpeas whether they are cooked or not. And they are cooked so I am going to use a colander and separate the chickpeas and aquafaba or the water. I prefer to let this stay as it is for another couple hours by that time the aquafaba will get thicker and the wet chickpeas will also start to dry a bit. I am going to give it a good stir as it starts to coagulate a bit after keeping for a couple hours so a good stir then it goes to the ice trays and then freeze until completely frozen. You should measure how much uh, liquid goes into each ice tray or each ice cube or just pour in about 1 tablespoon into each cavity. Our aquafaba is ready, you can use it as it is but this is a lot to use at once that's why I prefer freezing this in ice cubes and by doing that you can use it anytime you want to use it for any recipe. So here you go, aquafaba, a revolutionary new egg replacer is already with which I'm working since the last 3 months just for you and creating new recipes using it. This water that we have got after cooking the chickpeas is thick and slimy and is known as aquafaba and uh, the best part it whips perfectly and is much more stable than uh, flax gel and is much more neutral in flavor as well. Let's make the whipped cream now then we'll talk more about it. As I said earlier I prefer making ice cubes of this and then keep it in the freezer. That way I can use it anytime that I wish to use it. So I'm to take 3 ice cubes or rather aquafaba cubes and I'm to thaw them first. So here I have the aquafaba which has been thawed and uh, this is roughly about 4 tablespoons of aquafaba to this. I am going to add in 4 tablespoons of powdered sugar. Now I am going to use a hand mixer to whip it. You can also use a stand mixer if you have one. It's preferable to use a machine to whip it rather than a whisk. It takes a good amount of time, about 10 to 12 minutes to whip to stiff peaks. So it's preferable to use a machine to whip it. And we are going to increase the speed gradually, slowly and steadily. Uh, once we get to 1.5 minutes, I am going to increase the speed to 2. Then uh, after 3 minutes into 3 and 4, 5, 6 like so. So let's start. Oh yes, it's better to start a stopwatch if you have one. So I'm to start a stopwatch here. So it's been about one and a half minutes. I'm to increase the speed to two now.
All thanks to Mr. Joel and Mr. Goose who has brought this ingredient to us and created a storm in the social media. You can join a Facebook group where they talk more about this aquafaba and many more things. So I'll put the link to that in the description box below. And if you ask me what am I doing with the kilos of chickpeas that I boil and keep aside, actually I just put them into Ziploc bags and keep them in the freezer. That way you can use them anytime. I personally prefer to use it every day. I use it to make charts and many more things on a day to day basis. Charts as in just you can add a little bit of onions, cucumber and little salt and lemon juice and you can serve it. Good amount of protein for your day and uh, really healthy so you can use that way as well. And you can make some choles and many more recipes using chickpeas. So it's always great to have some chickpeas in the freezer. So it's been about 7 minutes that we have been whipping this, we are about halfway there. Uh, the cream is uh, in soft peak stage right now. I am going to leave the machine to rest for about a minute or two because it has a cap of using only 5 minutes. I have already used it for about 7 minutes. I am going to leave it to rest for about a minute or two. After that we are going to whip it till stiff peaks. Oh yes, make sure you use a deep bowl and kind of a narrow bowl uh, from the bottom that will ensure the beaters uh, reach it really well and then you can whip it really well. If your beaters don't reach the uh, aquafaba really well then it won't whip really well so make sure you use a deep and kind of narrow from the bottom bowl. Now I will start the machine again. If you are using a stand mixer or a heavy duty mixer, you don't have to stop it. Just keep on beating it and it will whip even faster. So uh, now I am going to start whipping it again. We are in soft peak stage right now. We am going to whip it for about 2-3 to three more minutes and we will be in stiff peak. So uh, let me resume this. Stopwatch and start the machine. About 4 tablespoons of aquafaba it was, now you can see it's much more than 1 and a quarter cups of cream. Our whipped cream from chickpeas is all ready as well. You can see we have got stiff peaks and it is perfect for using in cakes, cupcakes or any other recipe that you want to use it for. So it's ready. Everything is in same here as it is in the abroad be it getting a can of chickpeas or the mixers. You ask why I say that because it didn't start well as always. My first, second, third attempts were Ori and the uh, uh, aquafaba didn't whip at all. The reason was that the chickpea water was not thick enough and many more reasons were there which I am going to share in our website cookingshooking.com along with images of my experiments and many more things about this. So make sure you read the post at cookingshooking.com for more details about this along with pictures of my experiments. As I said earlier, I have been working with this aquafaba or chickpea water since a little over 3 months. So you should be expecting some great recipes in the coming weeks using aquafaba. So stay tuned. One more great thing about this is there is no over whip thing or like that. You can over whip this or you can whip this as much as you want if you wish to. If your cream or this aquafaba is not being whipped then you can definitely increase the time and whip it as much as you want because there is nothing like that that this will go awry if you over whip it. Nothing like that. So here is the aquafaba. Looks legit. Let's taste it. I have already tested it and made multiple recipes using it. feels like cloud in the mouth just gone in a second this will be great in cakes and more and many more things so why don't you try it and let me know how this is go for you and as i said earlier make sure you read the post at cookingshooking.com for more details about aquafaba whipped cream and many more things bye take care